Alright, Triple Mirrodin in the finals. We'll keep it, I guess. Great Furnace, Pyrite Spell, bro. Uh, Alright, Forest into Chromatic Sphere. We might, depending on what they do, they mulliganed. We might just want to shatter this Great Furnace. That seems like... Oh my goodness. Well, we're definitely shattering a land. Sack this, add red. Uh, play a forest. I think we shatter the Great Furnace so I can't activate the Pyrite Spell Bomb. There is a downside <laughs> to playing Artifact Lands, uh, and it forces them to just cycle the Spell Bomb. Yes, that is a, a sinkhole, basically. Man, they were playing all Artifact Lands. Molder Slug, oh my god. <laughs> what a blowout. Well, let's just play Golden Mirror. Since we can't activate the Goblin Replica anyway, if we had red mana, I would totally slam that and just stone rain another land. Uh, Molder Slug will make them sack their lands, so that would be an awesome draw. <laughs> if we just peel that and play it on turn four, you get the flawless victory. I think <laughs> we're kind of set up well to play against this deck, because we are the somewhat the artifact hate deck, and they are apparently the artifact land deck. Uh, Alright, no flawless victory. 2-1 with fear. Uh, it doesn't seem all that great in a format full of artifacts. Play Goblin, Goblin Replica, pass the turn, slow roll the red mana so they don't know that we can activate it. Maybe they'll think we're just playing it as a as a 2-2. Two -two. The hasty dude. Alright, let's just take our beats for now. Uh, Chromatic Sphere... Guess we can keep the slow roll going and use Chromatic Sphere if we want to activate this. I don't know if we do now that they've hit more land drops. Although if they attack it might be worth it to block and sack. Another Fear Dude. Tax with both. Well, um, we could trade off. Hmm. Let's just block and then sack it to Stone Rain. Add red. Sack it to Stone Rain, their red source. And then we get to Wormskin Forger. We're going to put two counters on our mirror and one on the forger. So our mirror can stonewall those fear creatures, and this can trade with the berserker. Opponent does get a free attack for four here. Oh, they're going to attack with everything. All right. Uh, more lands. All right, play the mountain, pass the turn. We're kind of flooding out a bit. Not really drawing enough of our top end. And there's the red mana. Alright, another attacker. Ogre Leadfoot destroys artifact creatures if it gets blocked by them. So we're going to want to draw a blocker. Well, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Man, we have drawn so many mana sources. <laughs> Disciple of the Vault. Haste First Strike. Well, we're just going to block and block. Take three and another one from the Disciple down to eight. But we get rid of both fear creatures. And we can always use 
if we have to, if we're really desperate, blinding beam just to slow our opponent down for a turn. There we go. Not the best blocker, but it is a blocker. Should help keep us alive for a while. Ooh, that's big. Plus five, plus five, and when it deals damage to a creature, exile it. So we can't even really block and regenerate. Now well, let's play the archers. We might just have to blinding beam here, unfortunately. If our opponent equips, give us more time to draw our way out of this with the, uh, I don't even know, another goblin replica or a molder slug, I guess would be the, the big outs. And yep, there's a quip. All right, blinding beam, tap, uh, tap entwine this should buy us a little time anyway chromatic sphere yeah we're gonna lose a life but we gotta redraw Ugh, life spark spell bomb this is a bad time to be getting these redraws We lost two life cycling those artifacts. And Copper Mirror. Alright, well, let's attack with everything. Play Copper Mirror past the turn. Oh boy. So that's going to untap in one more turn. They have a follow up too. Lose to life at the beginning of our upkeep? That is bad news. Alright, we get drained down to four. Goblin rep replica is interesting. How do we do this? Do we can we attack with everything? We can attack for yeah, I think we I don't think we attack with copper mirror. Attack with everything else. Uh, our opponent has something else too. All right, terror. Mm, man, not sure what our out is now. Goblin replica. We're probably going to have to destroy our own golden mirror here. Does our opponent just swing with everything? Well, we know for game two we're going to want to hold our shatters for the sword. Because that is a beating. Alright, there's the all out attack. So we will block and block. We will take two off of this exchange. Ooh, take three? Alright. Uh, then we need to kill our golden mirror. And, alright, draw land. Uh, hopefully we run better in game two. Or just play better. Uh, we know to hold our artifact removal now. Um, turn to dust does answer the equipment. I guess we can bring that in over definitely the life spark spell bomb. Um, and do we want two of them? Is that too aggressive? I guess we can go down to chromatic spear. Let's try it like that. All right, game two in the finals of our rough drafts. And hey, all right. 
This time we got all the seven drops, but I'm not sure if we'll get to cast them. If we ever get our plated slagworm down, it seems like it should be pretty good. So chromatic sphere, pass the turn. Uh, swamp for our opponent into Disciple of the Vault. Not sure that's that great, but we're just going to play this Iron Mirror. Anything that ramps us is good here, if we can get to our 7 drops. Haste, First Strike, Goblin Striker. Eh, we'll take one. Shatter. Do we just want to shatter the land? We have the... Yes. We're going to shatter the land. We brought in so many ways to deal with the equipment that it seems... silly to hold the shatter now, just for the equipment. Because our opponent isn't really playing an artifact-based deck. Well, and there's the Bone Splitter. Famous last words. So... Now we really need a good blocker. Well, we gotta land. We don't have white mana, so we can't even blinding beam. <laughs> Another, okay, copper mirror. Into forest. So I guess we're taking our beats and then hoping we draw a land and can play plated slagworm and then stabilize from there. Golden Mirror would have been better there, because then at least we could use it to cast a Blinding Beam. Alright, take three. Down to eleven. And there's a little fear thing. Dross Prowler. Prowler. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plated Slagworm. That should at least put an end to this goblin attacking. But they can move over the Bone Splitter to the Dross Prowler. I think we're going to be in a position where if we get white mana, we might be able to just win the game. Yep, they're going to attack for four with Dross Prowler. 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 So, down to seven, a virtual five, virtual four, thanks to Disciple. So we're really not out of the woods yet. Ooh, Turn to Dust is not a bad draw, though. So we get to Turn to Dust the Bone Splitter. Alright, puts us to six. Play Wormskin Forger. Oh, uh, we can't attack though, can we? We're taking two, three, four, five? Yeah, we can't attack. Let's put a counter on each. So we're taking, we're going to, we're at a virtual one, basically. And if our opponent can kill one of our artifacts, well, that does it. The, yeah, that's lethal. Oh, a bit too slow. Well, we made it to the finals. Had some sweet matches, but finals didn't go so well this time. Our opponents, we built the anti-artifact deck, and we kind of ran into another anti-artifact deck, and we didn't run too well. Uh, and I guess maybe we're too uh, easygoing with our artifact removal, so. Anyway, that's been Rough Drafts. Make sure to check out the website, mtggoldfish.com. Decks, prices, metagame strategy, pretty much everything and anything you could want related to Magic the Gathering. And if you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button to keep up on all the latest and greatest in video content from mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.